Hello all. Welcome to this new video where we will explore the role of renewable energy in achieving sustainable development. So let's begin. In this video we will discuss first what is renewable energy, what is sustainable development in short. Then we will discuss the benefits that is environmental, economic and social. So let's start and let's dive in into this session. All of us know that what is sustainable development as it has been defined in 1987 Brundtland report, our common future, right? So it's a concept of meeting the needs of present generation without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. So it encompasses various aspects like environmental, social and economic, agree. But here, one thing that you can recognize here is the part needs, okay? So, if you closely consider all our needs are directly associated or correlated with the energy use, right? So, whatever need you take that requires some energy and whether that energy comes from renewable like solar wind or non-renewable means fossil fuels. So, that is the question. Let's go through this one interesting fact. The sources of electricity production such as coal, oil and natural gas means non-renewable sources have contributed to one third of global greenhouse gas emissions. It's 33% of overall greenhouse gas emissions that has come due to electricity production with coal, oil and natural gas. So it's, it's a huge contribution and in that backdrop, the role of renewable energy in achieving sustainable development, meeting all the needs is very much important. So a renewable energy does plays very vital role addressing environmental challenges, promoting energy security, economic growth and enhancing social well-being. So how? We will explore in this video in detail. So let's talk about first environmental benefits. First benefit that you can identify that is reduced greenhouse gas emissions. Renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, hydro and geothermal power produces little or no greenhouse gas emission during operation so uh, by replacing fossil fuels we can reduce the greenhouse gas emissions so here some people might ask that what about the solar panels what about the waste generated by uh, solar panel or uh, turbines in the case of wind so what about it let me tell you if you analyze overall life cycle thinking okay don't only look about only one component or one part so it's a myopic view you have to look from cradle to cradle, means from start, from scratch, from where it comes till the point where it becomes waste and where uh, it has zero value as we say, right? So it disintegrates into the nature. So you have to identify, you have to think through life cycle aspect, life cycle thinking. Compared to coal fire power plant, the electricity produced from renewable energy sources emit 90 to 99 percent less greenhouse gases and produce 70 to 90 percent less pollutants so isn't it great so your ghg greenhouse gases is also less or the other pollutants are also less second is air and water pollution reduction for the uh, conventional energy sources so maybe coal or maybe uh, gasoline petrol diesel so they emit the pollutant these are also greenhouse gases, for example, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxides and particulate matter, which is harmful for health. So if you are shifting towards renewable energy, so the overall health of the society will also improve. So isn't it great? Third is conservation of natural resources. Renewable energy, which is abundant in nature, so it can replenish itself. So this reduces reliance on resources like fossil fuels so whenever you are reducing the fossil fuels ultimately uh, you will get uh, the other benefits like you will stop or reduce the environmental degradation uh, during extraction transportation and, co and combustion point to note is uh, when we use non-renewable sources so let's say for example we are using petrol or diesel okay it's not only about the combustion it's right from the extraction of the gasoline right then the transportation then the use the combustion and the required machinery to operate all these things so we have to consider all these aspects as well 
Let's move to the second level of benefit, which is about economic. First is diversification of energy sources. If as a country, as a society, we are heavily relying on fossil fuels, what is the damage? So it leaves economies vulnerable to price fluctuations and geopolitical tensions. If you check about global economic purview, so you will find that whenever there is a geoeconomic confrontation, geopolitical confrontation, there is oil or there are fossil fuels or there are energy issues, right? Uh, maybe rare earth metals or the uh, uh, coal or mines, right? So if we are incorporating renewable energy, so that will diversify our energy and that will give the stability for the society. For example, diversification means if our 20% energy is coming from fossil fuels, then another 20% can come from solar, 20% wind, 20% geothermal and 20% maybe tidal, right? So that, that will be a balance of energy. Then the second is job creation and economic growth. The renewable energy sector has shown remarkable potential for job creation. For example, investment in renewable energy, when we talk about it, so it, it, it is in infrastructure, manufacturing, installation, maintenance. So it has provided more jobs compared to non-renewable. For example, studies have shown that uh, renewable energy industry can provide more jobs per unit of energy generated compared to the fossil fuels. So it's, it's a really positive thing to focus on renewable energy sources. Third is cost competitiveness and price stability. If you analyze the trend for last, let's say a decade or 10 years, you will find that wind and solar energy have competed with the non-renewable energy sources as well. So it's really cost competitive. Uh, the price has stabilized and it also gives uh, organizations or companies benefit because now they can have the solar plant and they can uh, they can sell this energy to the grid as well so this is economic benefit for them for the long term future let's move to the third tier of benefits which is social first is improved public health and it's very clear that if you have clear air pure air pure water then definitely it is going to improve the health and with the renewable energy sources definitely you are reducing pollution you are reducing harmful uh, particulate matters. So yes, it is good for health. Second is access to energy. Renewable energy offers potential to provide electricity to remote and underserved areas. For example, area where conventional grid infrastructure has not reached, right? So at that point also, you can provide the energy, uninterrupted energy supply, and which will good for the overall society as well. For, let's let's take one scenario why do you think there are all corporate offices all the businesses in cities only why because they have the better electricity supply better internet and network supply right and that's why business is there so what if we could provide the electricity all the basic infrastructure maybe internet support in a rural area so that people can work from that place as well right so isn't it empowering people Third is resilience and disaster management. You might have seen that after any flood or cyclone, we require almost 10 to 15 days to resume the energy supply, electricity supply to these areas. And we have seen that many times when such kind of disaster happens, so it can hamper the critical areas like hospitals. So in that case, if we are having distributed energy generation units, like solar and wind so it will empower us to give a better disaster response and recovery efforts these are the benefits and in conclusion i would like to say it's very critical role in achieving sustainability by having proper renewable energy support so it's it's will it will help us not only in environmental concerns but it will improve in energy security fostering economic growth and improving social well-being as well it can reduce greenhouse gas emissions, it can mitigate air and water pollution, diversify energy sources. If we want sustainable and resilient future, then renewable energy is something where we need to focus. 
and that's why government businesses and individuals like us should prioritize the use of renewable energy into our operations into our day to day activities how much we can incorporate it how much we can support renewable energy so thank you so much uh, for your time and before ending this video let me leave you with this quote from thomas alva edison uh, let me just read i would put my money on the sun and solar energy what a source of power i hope we don't have to wait until oil and coal runs out before we tackle that so with this thought i'll leave you over here please like comment and share this video do subscribe to stay connected thank you so much have a great day